Hi there, my name is Willow Goldstein and I'm the founder and creative director of The Bakery. Hi, my name is Amanda Norris and I'm the program administrator. The Bakery is a collective of creative thinkers aligned around social justice principles, environmental concerns, and the belief that art is pivotal to existence. We utilize and critique technology as it changes the human landscape while providing resources to emerging artists. Our previous space was unified around a DIY ethos, which we carry with us into future projects. We keep community building at the core of everything we do. The bakery is excited to lead a yarn mural project with you, our hands-on Atlanta volunteers and livable buckhead along Path 400. While traditional yarn bombing uses knitted and crocheted prefabricated designs, we will be employing a more accessible hands-on approach. So for those of you at home, you'll be making yarn circles to add to the project. Let's make a yarn circle. So at this point, you should have received your kit and found the following items in it. All you'll need is a pair of scissors. To start, uh, tie on a knot. Just your basic knot. Pull out some of your yarn and snip it off to get your foundation started. This is what it should look like. Here's how you do it. This base will help secure the yarn around the perimeter as you weave it so that there won't be any slippage and to give the greatest longevity to your yarn circle. This part is probably the part that's going to take you the most time um, because it's also the most important. So you're just going to wrap your yarn around the hoop to make the little notches that you will use throughout the rest of your circle. Uh, like with most things in life, there is uh, not really a right or wrong way to do this, but there is the most effective way. You're going to want to make sure that you don't do it so tight that you change the shape of the circle by making it into an oval or uh, bending it, but also you do want this to be very tight and secure uh, around your frame. So once you've wrapped and created notches all around the frame, um, with your few feet of yarn that you pulled out at the beginning, you're just going to wrap your excess around, make it really tight, and then tie it off and you'll have your foundation. And neither Amanda nor I uh, were Girl Scouts, so we don't know our knots. However, we are just doing a basic, basic knot. If you know a fancy knot, feel free to use it. Yeah, we believe that everyone is an artist. So right now you're making art and you're an artist today. So now you have your foundation, just cut off the excess string and uh, let's continue on making your yarn circle. The most important part here is that you stay uh, catty corner um, in order that your yarn doesn't fall off of the frame. Um, so that means looping it on directly opposite sides as you weave around. And if your yarn gets a little tangled, that is part of the process. So try not to get too frustrated. Yeah, if it gets tangled or if you mess up, just tie it off and uh, start and tie off a new one and start it start again. So you'll want to go around the circle a lot. Uh, you want it to be really thick. You want to use a lot of your yarn, maybe all of it, depending on how much is in your kit. You all have different sizes and colors. Uh, ideally, you don't want to be able to see through your yarn circle. You want it to be completely full and colorful so that way the visitors of Path 400 can see it. Here we go, just cut off the excess. This is what your finished circle should look like. So do you have any leftover yarn? We're going to show you how to make a pom-pom. Uh, you should have received a cardboard template, which is super easy to make at home. And this finished product is going to be basically a pom-pom, but minus one step. So you're going to want to hold your yarn to your template. Leave a little bit of space in that uh, empty space in between the cardboard. Leave a little bit before and after uh, your, your wrapping. But you're going to wrap around the cardboard 
a lot. You, you can use the rest of your yarn or a little bit of it to make two, just depending on how much you have left over. You want it to be a really thick pom-pom. You don't want it to be too tight. You don't want to bend your cardboard. And then once you're done, you'll use this empty space, take a little piece of yarn, go through it, and tie it off. You want this to be really tight and really secure, so do your basic knot a few times. Make sure to tie it off really tight and leave a little bit of string exposed in this point because that is how we will secure it to the fence. And at this point, you basically have done 90% of the steps to make a pom-pom like you would see on a hat. The only remaining step is that once you have shimmied it off of its template, you would cut the, the edges and that would be what would create that round fluffy pom-pom shape. But for our design, we are going to keep it in this circular uncut shape. Thanks so much for being a part of this public art project and creating a yarn mural with us. Check us out online, www.thebakeryatlanta.com. At The Bakery Atlanta.